Good afternoon, uh, Trisha from East Marsh Acres. Um, it's a beautiful Saturday afternoon around noonish, and uh, we're getting out here today after an early morning of um, moving the chickens from this patch in the garden. But you can see what they did here. It's amazing. And now they're on that side of the garden over there. So today we're attempting to um, get into our hoop house now and get the gardens, the beds ready in there. So in order to do that, we need to get the ventilation system going. So right now, um, Roland is taking out all the wiggle wire from the greenhouse, uh, hoop house, from the bottom here. And uh, then we're going to be installing something that we can roll this up. I'm pretty sure that's probably going to stay that way for the whole time, but um, until the fall, because it's pretty pretty warm here already during the day. Although our nights are still going down to three or four degrees, like tonight or something. So we still can't uh, have things out in the open for risk of frost, but we can certainly start planting our tomatoes and so on in the hoop house here. So that's our aim for today is get the beds done in the hoop house and get that working. It's, good. it's really good for our intros and all that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's I'll be trying to help out. <clears throat> oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Okay, we're going to set up the big camera to uh, show the install of the rollers to roll up the sides. So, see you in a bit.
Okay, we've rolled up the sides, so we've got all of that figured out, as you can see here. And uh, the rope is to keep the plastic against the side so it doesn't flop around and breeze if there's a strong breeze. And this is the same on this side as well. So we're starting to work inside the hoop house, and Trisha's uh, just moving the straw out of the way so that I can do some broad forking and we'll uh, give you a glimpse of what that's like. I'll, I'll probably do it on uh, speed it up um, time-lapse stuff. Um, but uh, we want to get to the point where we're actually putting um, the layers of soil down in here uh, today. We'll have to see how far we get. Anyways, that'll bring you up to date for now. Hey there, Trisha here from East Marsh Acres. Uh, yeah, we're getting somewhere. It's uh, it's been a long hot day, although we started late. So, um, but tomorrow we'll work at it again. Even though it's Mother's Day, but you know that's I will not get a day off. <laughs> we have to get this done. So, as you can see, we got maybe a third of the row <laughs> done. One row, and we need three rows. So hopefully by Monday... Oh, uh, there's two rows that are broad forked. Yeah, two rows are broad forked anyways. So, and... Uh, so what's the plan? Yeah. So the plan for tomorrow is to, yeah, but get another row of, get this row finished with soil. So we're putting about four inches of soil on and then we're going to put about three inches, two, three inches of compost on top. So that's the mushroom compost. And that's going to be the mushroom compost. And then that's what's going to go. And then we can plant. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, we'll hopefully be planting on Monday, Tuesday. Let's see how we how we do. And we can get this hothouse into shape. Yeah, we haven't shown so, them this either, so maybe you so, want to show them. Yeah, I don't know if you saw how much the chickens did in this area but it was full of straw like this end of the garden so I don't know what they did with the straw but it's worked it all in, worked it all in. so now we have to mound it again with some new soil and broad forked it and whatever before we can uh, yeah, plant so yeah we'll sign off for today and uh, thanks for watching and uh, if you haven't already subscribe and like our videos and uh, we'll see you tomorrow bye for now